This Sunday is St. Patrick's Day, and we're going to kick things off early, as we always do, mm -hmm. with some drink recipes. I should have made my Irish soda bread to wash all. You of have this said down. that at least once a day for the last week or two week, two years. Joining us live this morning is Sean Flynn, Senior Editorial Director for Food and Wine. It is always great to see you, but specifically. Well, thank you. Glad to be here today. As we march into St. Yes. Patty's Day, what a weekend! It's okay. a good way to kick it off. Okay, so what do you look for in a good drink? For St. Patrick's Day. Whiskey. Ooh, Irish okay. whiskey. Real straightforward. He said that with conviction. Didn't have yes. to think about it. <laughs> okay. Yes. So we got three great options for you today. Gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna make the first one. This is a Tipperary. Tipperary. Very classic cocktail, about a hundred years old. Really simple. Okay. And from my perspective, this is a great cocktail for people to have in their registrar. Okay. Where, so they can make it, you know, whenever, whenever. they have friends over. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, because sometimes folks will come over and I'm like, whiskey. Whiskey. Good luck. You say it with that accent. Too. Whiskey. Whiskey. Whis you want you want whiskey? What do you want to do with whiskey? Yes. Good luck. Go down the street. Good. There's a you know store. what? There's a, there's a bar. Exactly. What are we putting in here? So we got Irish whiskey. We've got green chartreuse, That's and we've got Irish. sweet vermouth. Now, may I ask a question? Yes. What is do. the difference between an Irish whiskey and a non-Irish whiskey? So I'm glad you asked. So an Irish That's whiskey uh, is it needs to be uh, aged within the. Uh, island of Ireland for at least three years. So it's very similar to scotch, scotch being the same, that it has to be aged in Scotland. Wow. And champagne huh. has to be from and champagne. And here I was thinking an Irish whiskey just had a little leprechaun waiting for you at the bottom like the warm and the tequila. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you, the green chartreuse, what does that do? Is that a flavor? Or does yes. that do so you have a green color? Green like chartreuse, a green green? it's a uh, tongue twister, first off. Okay. Uh, this is also, it's a French liqueur, oh. and uh, it adds like a bit of like, star anise to it, like okay. a, a uh, bit of a yeah. kick, oh, sure. freshness, okay. like a, a citrus almost. So okay. it kind of brightens the cocktail. So we did the Irish whiskey, we did the chartreuse. You have some ice in there. Did you put anything else in? Uh, just bitters. bitters. Just bitters. Just to give it a little bit of a kick. Okay. And then you this strain it. Part. Mm -hmm. Strain it right into the drink. And you've chosen a coupe for this one. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of a coupe. So I is this program right here. I also like it because you don't have like the ice hitting you in the face. Sure. So this one, we don't serve with ice. Uh, we do. Put that Top business. It with, I did yours a little bit fancier for the garnish, Thank but you express. Express. Yes. I like I'm that. Just, you can throw it right in. Slancha. Cheers. Slancha. And I will say, if you're not a whiskey fan, mm -hmm. you can swap with the whiskey in this one for gin, which is like a bijou cocktail. And Ireland oh. also has a ton of great gins. This is a nice sipping situation. Oh, that is really nice. I like this one. Okay. Mm -mm. So funny story nice. with this one. Uh, so every year, being Sean Flynn, uh, I have a really big Irish party. So we've heard. We are skipping it this year just to oh, give ourselves hi. a break. But normally we do it. Wanted an invite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so last year I made this cocktail, but I did it as, as uh, punch, like a big. Oh dear. That I would not recommend that. Okay. It's a little bit strong, but. Oh, you as had a one to cut one, people off at the we seventh went back inning. We to college so with the jungle so juice good. last year. You can just kind okay. of like drink away, but it's it is on the heavier side, so probably this not is, best. This as is a punch. sipping situation. Julie noted. What yes. is the next thing that we're drinking? So the next one that we have, it's an Irish buck. This one's a bit brighter. So this is uh, mm. Irish whiskey. It's a honey syrup. You can either make it at home, equal parts uh, sugar, water with okay. honey, um, or you can just buy it. Really simple. Sure. Uh, lemon juice, and you top with ginger um, beer. And this is a basil. I smell basil. Basil. I went with basil because it's a nice way to kick off spring. Good spring flavor. Sir. Well, Thank Nels you. Nelson is inching his way closer. Which one do you <laughs> You're want? You're still here? Mm. <laughs> oh, I can get down with this. This is it's really good. nice. I, you know, ginger beer is always good. That's I nice love one. ginger beer. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay. And then the Master J. Final one. So this is actually made by a good friend of mine, Ariel Sinecki. He's ah, one yes. of the best bartenders in Ireland. Um, spent years working at Adair Manor, which is like a beautiful property. Um, and he made this cocktail. So it's similar to an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, instead of going with Irish whiskey, we went with a port finished scotch. Um, oh. It gives a little bit of depth to it. Yes. But then you've got chocolate bitters. You've got... Um, Sir. You, uh, chocolate bitters, you had uh, coffee beans into the mixer, uh, Benedictine liqueur, liqueur. Uh, that gives like holiday spices to it. Can we and taste? It's, sorry, I'm talking Oh so my much. goodness. Holy no, you're you're not explaining. Like an old fashioned, but with oh, a lot of depth. smells nice. Real good. Holy moly. It's like, you it know, it's like an old fashioned with a lot of depth. The finish That's is right? the chocolate. It is. It's like so you got the coffee, doing. you got the chocolate, you've got the port finish. Really phenomenal cocktail. And then you have like an, old, an oldie but a goodie. An oldie but a goodie. So you've got Guinness, uh, but this is the 0.0. .0. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this is non-alcoholic for anybody who wants good flavor, 
but wants to skip the alcohol this year. So this one's a really good one. You've done it again, Sean Flynn. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. the man for the job. Uh, for more recipes, you can visit foodandwine.com. You can also pick up the latest issue of Food and Ooh. Wine on newsstands now. I might have to do that. You should.